Hey guys, welcome back to Enchanted by You. This is Cassandra, and I figured for this video we would do something a little bit different, kind of a throwback to a lot of the stuff I used to do, but we are gonna go all creepy. And the reason that I'm going to do a creepy video, um, instead of the regular ones that we have been doing, is because tonight is the Super Wolf Blood Moon, and it is outside happening right now. I just went out and looked at it. It's really amazing. I hope all of you got to see it. But there's a lot of myth and everything that goes along with the blood moon. So I wanted to take this opportunity to do some scrying and do some other ways of contacting spirits. One of the things that is said about a blood moon is that it's kind of like what you would think Halloween is, where there is a thinning of the veils between our world and the spirit worlds. And a blood moon is also seen as bad and evil and destruction. Now it can also be seen as a rebirth. If you if you look at it, it can be a good thing and a bad thing. Again, it's one of those, how are you going to, to view it and see it? You know, what's your perspective on that? But this one has been extra creepy because this one has a lot of scary things that are tied around to revelations, I guess you could say. And so we'll see what comes true in the following months. But a lot of spiritual channels out there are talking about end times with this blood moon. Now, I don't know so much that I believe in that necessarily, but I thought to get this video started, we would go ahead and I wanted to read the verse in Revelations that talks about this. And then you guys can go and check out some other channels that make up your own mind on that and what you think. And then we're going to get into some really cool spooky stuff. Uh, so hang tight. So I brought a Bible with me, and in Revelations chapter 6, um, verse 12, it says, And I looked when he had opened the sixth seal, and behold, there was a great earthquake, and the sun became black as sackcloth of hair, and the moon became as blood. There's a lot of other stuff that goes along with that, but it, uh, that, that goes along with the this particular blood moon, and I'll let you look that up if you want. But it's kind of creepy that in the Bible, in Revelations, they are talking about the blood moon, um, most believe. So I want to kind of throw that in there too to add to the spooky of why I'm out here in this random place tonight. Um, I am at a vacant location and fortunately no one lives here, but I was too, I guess you could say, chicken to do this at my own home. So I kind of went a ways away so that I could do it here. Okay, so a lot of people, are talking about revelations in the world and you know like I said I don't know much about the end of the world coming I don't know how I believe in that very much but it is in the Bible and the Bible does talk about a blood moon now is it this blood moon don't know there's lots of blood moons to be honest so can't really be sure on which blood moon we're talking about but it does make it extra spooky and extra creepy for doing some of the stuff that I'm going to be doing tonight so let me show you kind of the setup here and show you what we're gonna do. Okay, so you know I wouldn't go anywhere without my spirit box. This is the PSB7 spirit box. It's the one that I always use. Um, I'm not gonna be using the app tonight because we're gonna do something a little bit different. We are going to do scrying. And I have this mirror, and it's gonna sound really crazy, but if you have been with me on this channel for a long time, you will know that when I went back to the abandoned domes in um, outside of Phoenix, Arizona, same place that the Ghost Adventures went to, that place was just crazy, but that place has had a whole bunch of satanic rituals, sacrifices, everything. And I picked up a few things from there, but mostly what I wanted were these itty bitty bits of tile glass. And you can see I got 12 of them. No specific reason on the number, but I picked up these itty bitty little pieces of glass and I used them to make a scrying mirror. To be honest, I've been kind of chicken to actually use these and so I know I've had a couple of you ask me, you know, what are you going to do with the pieces? What are you going to do with the pieces? Because I said in that last video that I was going to be making something cool out of it. So I made this mirror um, back then. But my family actually had me wrap it up in, well, I wrapped it up in a black cloth and put it away in a huge box and I kept it wrapped up and locked up because it just, sitting next to it, it just has a really crazy, creepy feel about it. These pieces were actually part of the original building and they 
have been there that whole time, and they have seen more than we can imagine. There's been murders out there, sacrifices, um, satanic rituals, everything like that that I said. And so all these little pieces of mirrors have witnessed that. And so I've used it to go ahead and charge our uh, scry mirror that I have. So we're going to do that. And then also because it's a blood moon, I have a bowl of water over here. I thought we would do some water scrying as well. So I wanted to do water scrying because if you know much about the, the moons and full moons and tides, full moons have a huge impact on our earth and our water. And so we can't include a scrying session on a full moon, especially, you know, the full blood moon, which does affect our earth without having water scrying in it too. So we're gonna go ahead, we're gonna do all three. We're not gonna do it for very long because uh, I know we're gonna get some creepy results. Um, I have been at this place before and this is the, the apartment complex I told you about a while back where there was a like a murder suicide so a a girl was living with a guy in one of these apartments and her ex-boyfriend broke in and murdered her new boyfriend and then killed himself and i've come out here and done some other really creepy stuff before and gotten spirits saying they were zozo all kinds of stuff so i'm not going to be doing all these too long but i definitely didn't want to do it in my house because i've had enough stuff going on in my house i still have stuff from halloween it's been kind of crazy popping in or trying to get in. So yes, yeah, so we're gonna do it here uh, and make it even more creepier. I, I guess I don't know what else I can add on to all this to make it spooky tonight for the blood moon. Uh, but let's go ahead and start. Is anyone here that wants to talk to us? I hear some people talking outside. Anyone here that is crossing over between the thin veil tonight? You can come and whisper in my camera. Wow, the candle's going crazy. And it stopped. Can you show yourself in the mirror? That noise was just me. Come talking to my camera and show yourself in the mirror. What is attached to this scrying mirror? Come talking to my camera. There's no wind at all in here, guys. Like zero wind, so for the candle to be freaking out is a little spooky. Show yourself in the mirror. That sounds like a motorcycle going out. Outside, it's not a growl or anything. Show yourself in the mirror. We want to see you. Did you come from the domes? I hope you guys are watching the little mirrors. The little mirrors are really creeping me out. The big black mirror, not so much, but the little mirrors are really freaky. Show 
Show yourself in the mirror. These little mirrors are really creepy. If anyone catches anything on this, make sure to go to my Twitter. Uh, you can look it up by Enchanted Bayou, or you can do at Enchanted Athens. And send me screenshots, please. Because this is really creeping me out. These little mirrors. And the candle flickering is just weird and bizarre too. Because there's no wind. Nothing in here. Okay, let's go ahead and try the water. So we're going to put this away later. If you guys want to see me try and do some scrying and again with this mirror let me know leave it in the comments below it's a really really creepy mirror like i said i keep it wrapped up and locked up in a box and way tucked away in my closet because it's just scary it just has a, a really ominous vibe about it but let's go ahead and switch over to see if we can do some water divination um on the blood moon well, during the blood moon. Okay, I'll get that set up and I'll be right back. Okay guys, so the next kind of scrying and divination that we're going to do is going to be water scrying. And unlike the mirror, the mirror's a little bit more difficult. Um, you wanna have protection sigils, all kinds of stuff like that on the mirror when you're doing the mirror, especially if you bring it from evil, like pieces of it from evil places. Uh, but the water one, anyone can do. And all you have to do is get yourself a good bowl of water, um, light a few candles, you want it dark, quiet, things like that. See this bowl right here, you can just buy it like any place. Like I got this one at the dollar store and you just want to fill it up. Some people like to use uh, like dark black water, but others, people just do it with regular water. So we're going to do it with regular water. And what you want to do is just tap it gently. Now, and see... You want to be able to make waves across it. There we go. And see what we can see out of this. Who's came over, who came, who crossed the veil tonight from the blood moon? Come whisper in my camera. closer so we have a little bit more light. Maybe that'll work a little bit better. If you crossed over with the blood with the blood moon tonight, show yourself in the water please. Oh I see a creepy face over here on the left. Wow, what is your name? Oh my goodness, he's like staring at me. This is really creepy. Speak into my camera and tell me your name. Oh, he's gone. Why are you here? They say that the blood moon is a sign of destruction and then rebirth. What kind of destruction are we facing? Can you show me a scene? Let me show you guys. This is really creeping me out. This is what I have here. I just have two candles here. I have red and green because that's what you're supposed to use on Blood Moon, mostly red, a black candle, and another red and green, and my St. Michael's candle there. But if you look, it looks like, like a roaring fire. That's kind of creepy. Are you just trying to scare us? Who else is here? If there's someone else here, show your face in here. Or 
or come whisper in my camera. Oops, sorry, that was my phone. I see another face over there. Oh my gosh, I see two more faces. If you guys can, uh, if you guys get screenshots of this and can capture it and send it in to me, I am terrible at pulling pictures out of video, so send it to me if you guys are good at that. I would love to see them, and we'll, I'll share them around on Twitter and Instagram so everyone can see them. Okay, let's finish with our water, and let's see if we can talk to these people who are coming through. That is crazy how much the, the water one worked, though. I thought the scrying mirror would be the really haunted one because I've used that with so... I put so much energy, I guess you could say, into it. Okay, let's do the spirit box. I'll get that set up. I'll be right back. Okay, I will go ahead and turn you guys on in the spirit box right now, and um, you can look in the water, too. We'll, we'll try and do some water scrying while we're talking to the spirits. Okay, so we have the spirit box right here. And it's gonna get crazy loud, and we'll put the water back over here. Sorry about all the movement. Okay, let's turn this up. Okay, who's here with me tonight? Ethan, can you help people talk? Did anything come in tonight with the uh, blood moon or cross the veil because of the blood moon tonight? If you did, you can whisper in my camera. Ethan will help you with EVPs to the spirit box. Or show yourself in the water. are here with me now. Not gonna talk? Come on, talk. Ethan, teach them how. Or show your face in the water. There's like a hand right there. Do you guys see the hand? There's a hand in there, like reaching for my hand. Okay, that's no, no, no. Whose hand is that? Am I in danger in here? Am I in danger in here? Is there anything bad here? that are here? Did you come with the mirrors from the domes?
Did any spirits come with the spirits with the mirrors from the domes? Can you show yourself in this water? What are you trying to show us in the water? Are you showing yourself? I swear they just said, what the hell? I am so sorry about that, guys, but my camera just overheated and shut off. So I ended the session because I didn't want you guys to miss anything. So I'm going to go back through, of course, like I always do, and review these, and you'll get to see what I heard. I'll also have my specialist review them and see what he has heard on them, and uh, you'll know. I just hear, like, whispering. But this place is getting really creepy. Sitting here doing this, I was doing fine and relaxed and kind of sitting back in one of these chairs and everything was okay. And then the more I got into it, the more I'm like hunched over and like looking side to side and hearing noises here and there. It was really creepy. So I'm gonna go ahead and, and get out of here now. Uh, if you wanna see something like this again, leave me some notes in the comments and let me know what you liked or what you didn't like. I always love to hear from you guys. Uh, make sure that if you're new here, you subscribe. Happy to have you here and welcome to the family. And uh, smash that like button as they always say. Um, and someone please give me a better saying than smash that like button because I hate that thing. Uh, so if you can come up with something cool, let me know. And I love you guys and I will talk to you soon. Bye.